welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for subscribing if you have already today i have a very exciting video for you guys as you've probably already seen from the title i have a new louis vuitton bag to show you and i am so excited because it is such a holy grail bag for me and it's a really, really, really rare bag as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. So Friday, one of my favorite stores in Brighton, Rebound, um, had a reopening because they had refurbished the store. So of course, I was the first one in, literally, at 11 a.m. I made it there and I was the first one in and I already had my eye on this Louis Vuitton bag because it was a very special bag that they had posted on their Instagram. So I went in and my eyes laid upon the bag <laughs> and it was game over. Like I, I knew I was not going to be leaving without this bag. Like there was just no way that I was gonna leave the store without it. So um, I'll put some pictures here of the store so you can see how beautiful it looks and how the bag was displayed when I first saw it. Um, and I'm sure you'll see why I fell in love with it. So, it is a very special bag, you'll have already seen a picture. Um, it comes in this dust bag, which lets you know if you, if you know your Louis Vuitton, you will know that these beige bags with the drawstring are pre, I want to say pre-2012 now probably. Um, so this is, this is a, this is a vintage bag probably in most people's eyes actually. Um, and yeah. This bag is from 2005 to be precise, October 2005 to be very precise. So I'm just going to get it out because I, I just can't wait any longer. <laughs> so we have... I can't stop looking at her. We have the Lodge bag from Louis Vuitton from the Marc Jacobs era. And this bag is from the Takeshi Murakami collection in the multicolour blanc. I'm just gonna let you take her in for a minute because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this bag is in pristine condition. I don't think she's ever been used. Um, I'll try and show you as best I can, but the canvas is just stunning. She has no wear on her whatsoever. The piping is in fantastic condition. Um, the buckles are in amazing condition. You can see the Vaquetta leather has barely any patina. And I think that patina is purely from age because it is so even that to me, um, if you don't know, when you buy a fresh Louis Vuitton bag from the store, the Vaquetta leather um, is incredibly pale, incredibly pale. Uh, I'm trying to think of like, it's like a very, very sandy white or a sandy cream. So this has obviously browned, but it isn't, it hasn't, it hasn't darkened, it hasn't gained patina in a way that tells me it's been used. It's so even that it's an aged patina rather than a usage patina. So that's just something to know if you're looking for secondhand Louis Vuitton bags. Um, you can see on the buckles that they're just absolutely immaculate. The canvas with the multicolor monogram print is just insane. Um, sorry, it keeps focusing on my face, but yeah absolutely incredible i'll just make sure that that is definitely on focus sorry it's beautiful um all the hardware is complete none of it is scratched the zip is completely beautiful as well um and something you normally see on these bags is the cloth around the zip is normally very dirtied but it's not at all which leads me to believe that it's not been used and the biggest giveaway is inside the bag it is just like brand new it's just beautiful it's got this stunning sorry the camera's probably not going to pick this up very well but I'll try and show you. It's got the stunning um, suede red interior. 
and in the bag itself you've got a very very giving um compartment in there it's just one compartment with a back pocket sorry i don't know why my camera is having so much trouble focusing i'm so sorry with a back pocket so that's really fantastic as well um but yeah very very giving i took my 500 page book out this morning in this bag with all of my slgs in it as well and it was completely fine um it's also got the old louis vuitton zip which i absolutely love they I very rarely see this zip on on um lv things anymore so that's lovely and the handle is non-adjustable but i wouldn't want to adjust it anyway it's perfect just as it is and it has this extra piece of leather on it as well um so yeah you can really see there's no feet on the bottom of it, it doesn't need it it's a shoulder bag um it's the most gorgeous thing i think i own actually it's gone straight to the top of my favorite bag ever for sure i think it's unbelievable truly and i feel incredibly lucky to own it so a bit more information about the bag these retail well you can't ever get the Takeshi Murakami multi-colour bags anymore these were discontinued in 2015 so you will never be able to get them again unless they reissue them which is highly unlikely um because Louis Vuitton are benefiting quite greatly from these being so rare now um I think if, it, if they were to reissue them it would kind of deplete the entire uh beauty of how rare these pieces now are um when i say rare there's obviously a lot of them on the second hand market but this particular style the lodge is very very hard to find um i have watched people's entire takeshi murakami collections and they don't have the lodge and they ha there's some that have even said that they find it very hard to find this bag in good condition um so the fact that i found it in pristine condition is unfathomable i went on vestia straight away after reserving this bag um because i actually picked it up the next day because my parents wanted to come and be there when i got it because they know how much i love handbags and they know that this had been on my list for a very long time to have um i did some research and on vestia a lot of the lodge bags were between 1200 up to 3000 pounds for this bag but in way worse condition than what i've got um and this is probably the best part but shiv at rebound actually sold this to me for 695 695 pounds for possibly the most incredible bag i've ever owned and perhaps will ever own um so i'm honestly just so thankful to shiv um i also bought this prada shirt from her which you can see better in um my vlog that will be coming up after this video uh oh no it'll already be up sorry it, the vlog will have gone up already so yeah you can if you've watched that vlog i'll link it here but this prada shirt is featured in that and i talk about it a bit more than i'm going to in this video but yes 695 i paid for this and it's just pristine it's a collector's item i know that i could definitely resell this for two grand if i wanted to i will not be doing that this bag will never leave my collection ever this is a forever bag for me um this was on my holy grail louis vuitton list so on my holy grail louis vuitton list i had a takeshi murakami piece i want um a blue denim piece and I also won a um, oh a Stephen Sprouse piece as well. So those are my top three. Takeshi's been taken off there, so I just need Stephen, Stephen Sprouse and a Louis Vuitton denim monogram, um, and then my dreams will be complete. As, it, as in the Louis Vuitton realm, there's other <laughs> only girl bags that I want as well. But yeah honestly i'm over the moon about this i am going to be doing an updated designer handbag collection and then i also want to do <clears throat> like a clothing and accessories designer collection mainly because i have a lot of slgs sunglasses and actually a lot of shoes and clothing pieces now more recently i've really gotten into buying designer shoes and clothing items second hand um actually a lot of my designer shoes come from tk maxx 
um i've got some amazing deals in there so i think i'm going to be doing that so let me know i was going to do like an entire designer collection video but i, I think that'd be too long so i think i'm going to do bags and then accessory shoes and clothing in one so yeah um so this is the baby let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about i don't have the receipt or any like the authentication card but um this came from a previous uh, sales assistant from Louis Vuitton so she was given this while she worked there she also had the Takeshi Murakami Alma bag in the multi-colour noir which she kept for herself which I totally understand because that's also a beautiful bag but out of the two this would have been the one I wanted um, so this is just to die for I, I do love the Alma um i find it quite fussy to get in and out of and a shoulder bag will always be my choice over a cook of the art bag so yeah honestly i'm just over the moon i think it's truly the most beautiful thing i've ever seen i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm trying to keep it short and sweet because i know i can ramble about these all day long but if there's anything else you want to know about this bag just come just send me a comment in the comments below and i'll get back to you guys um but yeah i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll have a full designer have our collection video coming soon and an accessory sunglasses and clothing one too um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed that and also if you haven't already go and watch the vlog where i bought this bag because you'll be able to see the store and also more detail about this prada shirt so yeah hope to see you in the next one guys thank you so much for watching and if there's anything else you want me to film just let me know i will see you in the next one have a good day bye